Greetings, Internet, and welcome to another episode of A Comedy Musician Reacts. My name is Insane Ian, I am a comedy musician and comedy music fan, and on this show, I react to comedy music from a comedy musician's perspective. And that's what we're doing this week. This week, thanks to my Patreons, over at patreon.com slash insaneian, we are reacting to The Aftermath by The Stupendium, a Baldi's Basics rap. This was selected on the poll of which stupendium song from the past do I react to next. Uh, and if you'd like to uh, weigh in on those polls, you can join them over at patreon.com slash insaneian to select which song you'd like me to react to next in the next poll. Uh, I've, I've gone through most of their catalog by this point uh, and only have a few left that are that I have not been explicitly told are not comedy songs. Uh, so things like uh, Shine Through or the, the Red Dead Redemption song or the Frostpunk songs, I've been explicitly told are not comedy. Uh, and so I won't be reacting to them here because I try to react to things that are comedy music because that's my field of expertise. Um, or, you know, my field of experience at least. Uh, so, you know, if I know ahead of time that it's not comedy, I'm probably not going to react to it. Uh, that said, there are songs that might not be comedy on that list. Nobody's told me otherwise. That's why they're still on the list. So, that's what we're tackling to today. Uh, but before we do that, please, of course, if you like this video, like, share, comment, subscribe, do all the things to get the eyeballs from the algorithm onto it so that it can go out and be seen by more people. And if you really want to help support the channel, that's what the Patreon's for. Uh, you know, you can get your name in the end credits, vote on polls, get my music before it comes out, get these videos before they come out, all sorts of cool things like that. In fact, I'm working on new music right now that is actually not comedy. And uh, a preview of that has gone up on the Patreon. Uh, it is coming from my... Uh, it's coming from my forthcoming, yes. It's coming from my forthcoming Bioshock EP, which will be out hopefully next month. Uh, and uh, it features several guests. I've got uh, Beefy, the nerdcore rapper, on there. I've got Twill Distilled, the dirty pop and nerdcore artist, on there. And somebody you may have heard of, The Stupendium, is also on a track on the Bioshock EP that I'm releasing next month. Pre-orders for that are available over at insaneian.bandcamp.com or uh, if you're part of the Patreon, uh, you can get preview songs there, depending on the tier. Uh, if you're at the $10 tier, you're going to get the EP through my Patreon anyway. Uh, but, and yeah, you know, some incentives for those of you who like stuff. But anyway, we're going to dive into this song. I have to admit, I know practically nothing about Baldi's Basics. I know that it is a game. I do know a little bit more than that. Admittedly, I know that it is kind of a horror game, given into the uh, the theme of it being an educational game, like an old school '90s educational game. Kind of looks like it moves like Doom, like it's a first-person perspective game, and you're running through, and you're supposed to collect all the textbooks and whatnot, and you have things that are trying to stop you or impede you from from doing that, and Baldi being the big boss that you want to avoid the most. Um, but it's supposed to be like Baldi's basics in education and something or other, like he's a math teacher or whatever. Uh, that's, that's the most I know about it. I know a couple of the characters, like one's a, a sock puppet named Arts and Crafters, and one's a broom, and one's a, a girl skipping a rope, and then one's a principal who is clearly a picture of uh, uh, a young person that is not a, a principal, but they're playing a principal in the image. Whatever. The game looks weird, and uh, this is an animated video, so I'm prepared to both uh, laugh and be disturbed. So this will be fun. Alright, enough dilly-dallying and, and yammering on. I've done enough of that. We're pressing play now. Wow. I, I have to admit, that logo, 3D animated, uh, very, very cool. Um, make sure I have the volume at the right. Volume. Yes. Volume. Good. Oh, I... Just the... Just the, the whole 
digitized video from the 90s element of this is already appealing to me. Uh, the 90s were a huge era of, of gaming for me, and especially full motion video and how everything was so compressed to fit on a CD back in the day. Uh, not even not even DVD. It was comp it was on games were on CD, so the video was all like there's just a certain amount of of digitization, pixelization, crunch. Just everything just looks so crispy and pixelated. Uh, it's it's a wonderful time. Uh, great throwback for me. I loved live action full motion video games back then. Night Trap and stuff like that. It was great stuff. And uh, this image of of Stoops here with all of that digital crunch on it, mmm, that's, that's some tasty stuff right there. Just putting it on a green screen with the, the actual game imagery behind it, it's, that's great. I already love it aesthetically, and I'm talking too much before the song has even begun. I'm sorry. No, I'm not. If this is your first time joining me, I pause a lot, because I don't want to miss things in the song by me yammering over them, so I'm going to pause. It's just a thing. <laughs> Just, just the digitization. Wow, this is the first time I've actually ever seen a green screen shadow or edge in a Stoops video. This is early. This is video is what four years old, maybe maybe less. I don't know, but uh, that's definitely something. Hey, you just transferred. I knew my last school had a future many wife through. So after a few suicides, <laughs> I moved to after a class that would have to survive through. So obviously, uh, this was this came out after Doki Doki Literature Club, or why did I say Okie Doki? Uh, the voice pitched up uh, doing doing a child's voice for this. Yeah, let me let me leave that school because a few too many suicides. That's uh, that's a thing to say. A, a few too many unalivings. Sorry, YouTube algorithm. Uh, yeah, that's a thing. Let's rewind that a little bit. High school had a future many wife through, so after a few suicides, I moved up to death for a class that would have to survive through. First day, while I'm excited, numbers is what I take pride in. I can do times and divide in best in class in 1990. There's the 1990 aesthetic, 1990 educational video games. I, like I said, Baldy is a math teacher from what I understand, so yes, obviously you're solving math problems, and if you don't, he gets angry and chases you or kills you or whatever because it's like, it's a horror game disguised as an educational game. Kind of like Doki Doki is, it's a horror game disguised as a, a dating sim slash virtual novel. So, or visual novel, not virtual novel, visual novel. So yeah, okay. Running along a theme, I'm glad that uh, they are acknowledging the theme that's running along with those two games, because I kind of got the idea of that as well when I was trying to research whatever the hell Baldi's Basics was, because I had never heard of it, honestly. I play console games, I don't play PC very much, so this one escaped my purview. Whatever. Numbers is what I take pride in. I can do times and divide in best in class in 1990. My IQ's the highest, like this is your Titan. Ty is tidy, and though he's a bit unsightly, my professor sure to like me. My name is Baldy, greetings, class. Test me, sir, I'm sure to pass. First question, let's do plus one. Easy three, boy, this is fun. The, the audio crunch is there, too. You know, when, when you're using, like, the digitized audio from, like, like, the, the old school 90s games like that were on like floppy diskettes and and sometimes on CD but especially on cartridge like things on like Genesis and Super Nintendo didn't have a whole lot of voice because they didn't really have the capabilities to play a whole lot of voice audio files so there was the ones that did had a certain amount of audio crunch in them that sounded like very unique and I'm getting that a lot from Baldi's voice the effect that that Stoops has put on their voice to play Baldi here uh, it's got this certain kind of quality crunch to it that, aesthetically, I'm really digging. Test <laughs> um, me, sir, I'm sure to pass. First question, what's two plus one? Easy three, boy, this is fun. You're doing great, what's two plus eight? Ten is what I calculate. Question three, what's four, five, seven, two, one, times four, eight, what? one, eight, four, six, eight, five, yeah. two, nine, two, nine, one, four, three, seven, six, eight, three, four, one. I need to call my mom, but I've got no hall pass, so I've got from a bone <laughs> You got the question wrong. See me after class. It was a harmless fun with you the aftermath. And there's the, the sock puppet in the background. Yeah, fear the aftermath. Man, the like 
Stips' videos are normally so high quality, but I think the lesser quality of this video is done purposefully, because it's trying to emulate a game that purposely looks like a poorly made 1990s educational game. You know, those games back in the day sometimes didn't have a lot of effort put into them. And the aesthetic of this is something that's so very specific, like hand-drawn backgrounds, sometimes hand-drawn characters, uh, done by people who are either uh, not artists at all, or are done by people who are trying to look like they're not artists. Uh, and like, you know, the, the, the principle is just clearly a photograph of a child who's like maybe made a game and is cut out and digitized and put into a game as as the image of the the principal or whatnot and uh, principal of the thing is i think the name of the character uh and it's just just that kind of aesthetic that they're emulating in this with the music video with like the green screen cutting off the legs just for that image of it spinning around and, and warping and stretching and and the fact that we actually saw a little bit of shadow or green screen edge all of that seems purpose d done on purpose as well and that adds to the aesthetic of uh the game looking amateurish as put and the video about the game looking amateurish kind of gives that cohesion and in in doing a music video like this when you're kind of emulating and talking about a certain subject having that kind of uh cohesion between the subject matter and what you're doing is important it's 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 a good comedy staple to have because you're emulating the thing that you're thinking about i've over explained sorry baby speaking we're freaking and the baby took to teaching that would be the i'm sorry I, uh, missed that line. If if Slender and Mavis Beacon were freaking... Okay, that's a... That's a thing. Uh, Slender meaning Slenderman, I'm guessing. Uh, Slenderman. And Mavis Beacon, obviously an old-school 90s game. Mavis Beacon teaches typing was, uh, was a game. Wow. That's a thing. If Slender and Mavis Beacon were freaking And the baby took to teaching That would be the creature we're seeing Creeping around this evening <laughs> Education's got a vocation This abomination should be seeking Is he trying to expand my mind Or just leave pieces on the ceiling I Having it be a green screen stoop Running through the actual levels of the game For the animation Very, very well done I guess those are power-ups in the game, snacks and, and sodas. I'm not sure, but that seems like they would be the kind of thing for that. Is he trying to expand my mind or leave pieces on the ceiling? That's a great line. And this abomination should be seeking. Is he trying to expand my mind or just leave pieces on the ceiling? Had to tackle attack from the faculty. Let's can't grab snacks for the calories. Also, that line, uh... Is, it was great, the, the, the whole faculty line there. The, the internal rhymes on that, really, really tight. And it just seemed to kind of come out of nowhere just for that one line. Like, the previous lines had some, had some decent internals, but that one line had so many multiple syllable hits. Like, sometimes when you do syllable hits in, in a rap song, uh, it's, it's the law of... of it's the law of Carlin's seven words you can't say on television, honestly. Uh, when you hit a word that has that hard CK sound in it, it just hits harder. And uh, there are words in Carlin's seven words you can't say on television that emphasize that. I won't say them here because it's a children's song. Y'all know what I, what I mean. He's running for some takes stamina, actually. Now we'll see what they mean by your math elite. Do a nothing <laughs> pass from a family calculus under the hazardous category practice and measured in back to vitality. Now I see what they mean by a mathlete. Uh, you know, a mathlete is, it's a portmanteau. It's a combination of the word math and athlete. Athlete. But also, uh, some schools have math programs where they do competitive math programs, and they call those people who compete in those programs mathletes, because uh, their athletic ability is in there is it, with the brain power rather than the rest of the body, and uh, and and also the thing about math not having fatalities. That's if Mortal Kombat was a math game, that'd be hilarious. Um, yeah, no, that's great. 
nasty. You would not need to pass for my family. Calculus under the hazardous category. Practice and measured and dance of fatality. Okay. Even the deadly janitors after me. Sweet, sweet, sweet. The massacre sanitary. Jump rope frantically. On a roll on this honor roll track. See, there's the, the two uh, other characters I mentioned. The janitor, which is a broom. And uh, jump rope frantically is is the, the little girl with the jump rope who looks like it was drawn by a... a a three-year-old but like the hair is always moving that's a good that that'll be a fun thumbnail of me doing this for whatever reason sure why not uh yeah the hair is always frantically animated weirdly uh that's just a great place to freeze the screen honestly that's a good shot right there of stoops running away from the weirdest enemies i've ever seen in the game all right cool the janitor's after me. Sweet, sweet, sweet. The massacre sanitary. Jump rope frantically. On a roll on this honor roll tragedy. Won't be home after. I hope there's no batch degree after I graduate. <laughs> there's no batch degree after I graduate. A batch degree is a shortened way of saying a bachelor's degree, which I think is uh, 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 not as big as a, like, a master's degree. Or, or uh, I think it's from like a shorter term at university or school. I went to a uh, a community college, which is supposed to be a two-year university before you go to, like, a full university, and I think you can get, uh, uh, I don't think you get a bachelor's degree there, but, uh, I forget which one you get where, it doesn't matter, I didn't get one, I don't have a college degree, I went to a two-year university for four years, um, because I'm, s uh, slow at taking classes and didn't end up graduating anyway, um, little thing about my educational system. Uh, yeah, whatever. Uh, I was a theater major, and I was like, I'm taking all these classes, and there's, uh, running out of money. That's what happens. Uh, it's just very funny to me. Wait, it's a baffling college, the Annie establishment pays him a salary next to my picture for extra curriculars. I'm gonna stay playing Big Brain Academy. <laughs> Big Brain Academy was, of course, a game for the DS. Stoops is holding a DS here. It was a... It was a pseudo-educational game. It was basically you're just solving brain problems. Uh, some of them were math-inspired. Uh, that's a great line. That's a great little reference thrown into there because that's an actual educational game that has no horror elements to it. It's just a, a you know a fun brain teaser game. Uh, that's that's great. There's so much rapid-fire rhymes in this. It's hard for me to like stop and pick them all out because they're just so many clumped together. Um, but the the lyrics in this are are fantastic. They're so they're so tightly crafted and condensed that they're all, all of them together just makes the song great as a whole. Uh, wow. I, I am full of saying nothing today. I'm saying words. M meaning is whatever. <laughs> and the old school chip tune. You see, there's the principal. Note booze? Is that a typo in the game? Because <laughs> there's supposed to be notebooks. But uh, note booze, that's interesting. Who signed up making miners go through such frats to find all these note booze with an old dude with an old rule? Make a sand hunter down through the whole school. There's a gold rule, pay attention. If they broke, you'll get detention. There's a bully in a sack with a vengeance, and the principal's a little bit relentless. See, that's the, the image of the principal I was talking about. That's just disturbing when it's up close and that pixelated. But uh, yeah, there's. there's Internal rhymes again popping up again that we, what you'll go through and the note boo and the, uh, so good. There's so many in there. Yeah, it's like with an old dude with an old dude with an old rule old rule Make a sand hunter down through the whole school whole school no, uh, It's so and There's then a gold rule pay attention if they're broke and then the, if you're broke you'll being the internal on that after all those external at the end of the rhymes bringing that back after dropping it from the previous line. Just, just excellent crafting of, of the lyrics there. Just bringing those rhymes through again and again, having that be the, the, the couplet throughout. I, I dig that kind of thing. I, I mention it occasionally. I don't really single it out usually like that, but uh, it's, it's very good.
Cool, get attention. There's a bully in a sock with a vengeance, and the principal's a little bit relentless. Show my infractions, infractions. It's one in one. Each action's dragging me straight back to this classroom. Trapped that ruler is slapping. This sub's gonna put me in traction, man. I've got no chance of passing. Is a substitute teacher? This sub's gonna put me in traction. Uh, I'm seeing the line coming up next is is already making me laugh. I don't watch game theory a lot, but I know that they like to pick apart. A lot of things on there. MatPat picks apart, uh, uh, you know, what's the real meaning behind this game and all that. So I, I guess there's been plenty of Baldi's Basics videos. Uh, I've seen a couple of the things. I, you know, I, I I know they do a lot of FNAF stuff, and uh, I saw a lot of Doki Doki Literature Club come up there when that was when that was around. I didn't see any Baldi's videos for that. So again, contributed to me not knowing what the hell this game was. But, uh, yeah, that, and yeah, that, I, you know, in the clips that I did watch before this, that try to kind of familiarize myself with the game, you do hear the, the ruler slap as Baldi's coming for you, so. Traptors, that ruler is slapping. This sub's gonna put me in traction, man. I've got no chance of passing if even that pan can't manage haphazard mathematic madness. I'm a man to the class that you drink right now. Forget Fortnite, this is a battle royale. Forget Fortnite, this is a battle royale. <laughs> man. That's the thing that cracks me up about Fortnite. Like, okay, little tangent here. Fortnite started out as a PvE uh, multiplayer game where you had, like, randomly generated, like, zombies, and you were, like, built forts, and you had tried to survive the night. Fortnite. That was the main thrust of the game. And then, like, Battle Royale games became popular, like PUBG, and so Fortnite went, well, we have this structure of a game where you're building things and shooting things. Let's take that and also add a Battle Royale element to it. And, yeah, that's what's going to be the thing. So we have this, this, this thing where we're building forts and fighting zombies, but we also have a Battle Royale thing. That original part of the game is gone. I mean, like, when they added it to Switch... They didn't even include that. Like the PlayStation version, I got it on, on PS4, and it had that whole element to it, and nobody uses that, and it's gone now. And it's just the, the Battle Royale, which has had seasons upon seasons of it now. People forget that that was the original form for the game, because uh, it just kind of like dominated the, the Battle Royale scene and kind of took over that. Uh, and then Battle Royale had... Tetris 99 and Mario 35 and Pac-Man 99 and I enjoy those. I'm good at those. I'm not great. I've never won, but who's counting? Anyway. Chap has a mathematic madness. My man does a class that's stretching right down. Forget for now. This is a battle royale and I gotta get out. But if we go for the pound, it keeps locking me down. Soon as I come around. Bet you regret it the second the roll call calls your name. That extra credit won't get you nothing but early grade. Wow. <laughs> Just all the weirdness of this game. When will you learn? I don't want to play with someone. I you turn. I think this game is broken. Detention Might be. I hear the doors you all found. I'm not for death when my snack bar stolen. Yeah, that's sad. I, I, I like snacks. Don't, don't steal my snacks. Also, uh, what the hell is that thing? I don't think I've seen that in my, in the list of, of enemies. I don't I don't recognize that. Looks like a potato. Yeah. Call my mom tell her to get here fast. Oh, this is a bully. <laughs> you got the question wrong. See me after class. Having the drum beat be the same as the ruler slap, that's an excellent touch. That's that's right along the lines of, of the heart monitor beat, beep being part of the beep in Weird Al's Like a Surgeon. That's great. And all the numbers, because it's a math game. The after math. Not just, okay, so it's been a play on the word the whole time. Numbers are harmless fun, but fear the aftermath. Meaning fear what comes after 
the problem, but also fear what comes after math. It's been a double, it's been a, 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 a play on words, it's been a double the whole time, and I only just caught it now when they broke it up at the end of the lyric. Wow. Uh, I, I feel kind of dumb, but at the same time, kind of proud that I, I noticed it. All right, sure, whatever. Wow, that's really good. Uh, Hello, thanks for watching. I do hope you enjoyed it. <laughs> Sorry, puppets. Yes, uh, anyway, uh, if you did enjoy it, then why not stick around? There's a lot more on the way, and please do consider the old like, subscribe, and of course, the all important of course. bell button as well to stay updated. Uh, there'll be a whole bunch of playlists over there with more songs of mine, and down below will be the Spotify and iTunes links. No promoting your channel in the hall. No promoting your channel in the halls. <laughs> I, I love Stoops' outros because they're always in character and on theme with the game, so that's why I like to try to watch those with the reactions. Sorry, gotta go. Thanks, bye! <laughs> okay, that's disturbing of being attacked by a, a sock puppet down the gullet. Alright, uh, so yeah, this was uh, an older song by Stupendium. Uh, obviously prior to even their uh, Patreon, but uh, definitely some really, really cool stuff going on in their um, early parts of their video. Uh, so I, I, I think, like, yeah, having the animation going along with it, that's, that's the game animation, but still with the live-action element of Stoops being green-screened into it, but with that digital crunch of it being the old-school compressed video uh, to kind of go along with the theme of it being an old 90s educational game. Uh, aesthetically, there's just so much going on with that that ties everything together. Uh, it works really, really well, and I really, really dig and appreciate that. Hopefully you digged this reaction. If you did, please, of course, like, share, comment, subscribe, do all the things that help feed the algorithm to get more eyeballs onto these videos. And if you really want to help the channel out, consider supporting me on Patreon, where patrons get to see these videos early, get my music early, get your name in the credits, and all sorts of other cool things. That's at patreon.com slash insaneian. Of course, that's the end of this video. We'll see you next time. Thanks for joining me. Bye.